Neil, obviously the transfer window shut now and you've done a little bit of business. Just um, three defenders. How, how do you see all that planning out for you? You've got a lot of defenders now and only so many positions to, to fit them all in. Uh, well, it was basically on Sunday, Sunday night when Tom Anderson got recalled, which left us really short and with Gavin Gunn and going as well. Um, we were in a really difficult time really on the, on the Sunday. So we needed to get players in and we needed to get some in quickly. Um, idea marked bringing in two, but then a chance came up to get a third. And as I say, um, at this stage of the season, then I'd rather have uh, extra players than, than not have enough. And um, we got got a, a chance to get a, another player in. So I thought, well, we'll take it. And then there's more competition and I'll pick whoever deserves to play. Does it send a bit of a warning shot across the bow to the, the defenders that are here already to say, look, you know, you, there are places and there are people here that are willing to take your place if you don't perform? Well, I, well, I think you'd, you'd like to have competition in all places and we did try and bring in other players, not just defenders, but um, as we all know, trying to get a, a striker in, um, not only is it difficult, but uh, also the expense and, um, you know, and, and with the wages, then uh, yeah, that's difficult to do. Um, but with the, the defenders that we've brought in, they all, you know, it's not cost us a, a lot in terms of financially, and um, you know we we do need to to start keeping clean sheets. So it puts uh, more competition uh, in the defence. But it's that's not to say that uh, we haven't tried to, to bring players in other positions. But uh, for one reason or another, it just hasn't happened. Does that competition extend across all positions at the back? Because I know you've been having a, a little bit of an experiment with the left back position as well. So, are you more confident going forward that you can address that? Um, we've got players who can play in the full back positions. It might depend on which opposition we're playing, what strengths we, you know, what they have got and what we need to do. Um, you know, being possible, you can. Forever keep changing things. You could go around. You could get in new faces every week, but um, we need a, a little bit of stability as well. I haven't chopped and changed since I came into the job, and uh, apart from last week where I made a few changes, I've limited those changes to to the odd one or, or maybe two. And um, I don't want to be chopping and changing from now to the end of the season. But there's more competition, and um, hopefully that. Uh, the new players that, that that have come in will will help strengthen things defensively. Were you, I know you said you were looking at others. Were you close to to one or two others as well? Um, yeah, some players. Um, well, obviously you speak to lots of players, but um, like I say, um, you know some of the players that I wanted uh, just out of our price range. Well, the Jordan Hugel deal went through too late, really, and in, in, not in not only in the day but also in the transfer window for you to to take maximise that opportunity but maybe going forward there there may be something for you looking to the future well I think the word there is maybe mm -hmm. isn't it uh, uh, you won't have just spoke to the chairman about that or the owner yet because he's away and no the, chairman, it, it, no, the chairman's away and uh, like I said it's, um, you know it's a chairman's club and uh, well it's not that it's the, the chairman owns a club it's not that I always think it's a supporters who who are or the main people at any football club, but um, in terms of um, finance, then uh, the chairman will make the, the decisions, and um, as I say, that's out of my control. Yeah, it's so a maybe, and I think the fans and yourself probably are thinking, hopefully as well, when the, when the summer comes around. But you've got Morecambe on the horizon next, so um, important to, to get that first win as well of, of the year and start building a bit of momentum now. Every game's important. Um, they're all important when you, because obviously the, the, it's a big prize. Um, you've got nine teams, I think, at the moment who are fighting to stay in the league, of which we're one of those teams. And um, every every point's going to be important. Yes, it, we we need to to win games. We'd rather do it sooner rather than later. But uh, every game is as important as as each other. Can you see the players as well have been frustrated with recent results, and that there's a, a willingness to to want to to get things right. <laughs> well, I think it, if the players didn't have a willingness to get things right, then we might as well all go home now and just we might as well all pack in. But in terms of confidence, I'm talking about perhaps you know, is the is the you're not seeing any low confidence? Everyone's still high and, and you know buzzing. 
from, uh, well, from well, playing and well, wanting to turn things around? I'm not going to change my uh, opinion of of what I've always said. The, the players want to do well. The players have a good attitude, but but performances dictate how your confidence is. And if you if you're not playing as well, your confidence is obviously lower than than when things are going well. But um, the only way you you improve your confidence is by getting your own game right, and then the team gains confidence by getting results. But certainly, as a as, as a player, you can only you can only legislate for your own performance. And um, by nature, some players are more confident than others. Some players, if they receive a bit of stick off the supporters, can put it out of their heads and just get on with it. Other players are, are not built like that, and it affects them more. So you're dealing with many things, but um, certainly it would make my job easier and make it easier for the players coming in training if we if we were to win on Saturday. It's certainly food for thought for you with selection with the, the new signings that you've, you've got in. Well, I've got uh, our team in mind for Saturday, um, and that will be that won't change really. Um, but in the coming weeks, then then the you know all the players have, have got a chance to to get in the team. And like I say, if somebody's doing particularly well in training and they deserve a chance, then then you know it'd be wrong not to give them the chance.